keep your eyes wide open, the human mind is a never-ending puzzle. Scientists spend years trying to study the mind and how it affects the way we interact with the world. Our minds are closely tied to our behavior, and after years of studying, scientists have been able to discover a lot of interesting facts. Here are some of the most interesting discoveries about humans and human behavior that will leave you speechless. 1. What you wear affects how you behave. Fashion is a way for us to express ourselves, our identity, and even our feelings. It indicates how we see ourselves and affects how we see others. Take a man in a suit for example. The suit instantly communicates that he is confident, driven, and composed, even if he was just going to a store down the road to get milk. Studies have shown that clothes we wear even influence our cognitive abilities. In 2012, researchers from Northwestern University in the U.S. found that wearing specific types of clothing affected the wearer's psychology and performance. A lady in a gown feels more regal and courteous, while a man in a casual, relaxed clothing will feel more relaxed and sociable. 2. You perform worse when you have a backup plan. When people are trying to perform a task, maybe they're making plans for an event, they usually have the main plan and a backup. Sounds reasonable, right? You don't want to be out of options if the main plan goes south. But studies have found that the more backup plans you have, the more likely the main plan won't work. Why? Because creating a backup gives you a sense of safety. It reduces your motivation to accomplish your goals. If the plan doesn't work, at least you can try this other method. This makes you less invested and less likely to explore all the possibilities. The second you encounter a setback, you think of switching to the next option. Whereas if you had stuck a little longer, you might have figured out a solution. Before we move on to the next psychological fact, can you please locate the like button and smash it? Why should you? The likes let us know you're enjoying the video. 3. Your voice changes depending on who you're speaking to. Depending on who you are with, we sound very different. A child might find it strange hearing how humble his parents sound when speaking to their bosses on a phone call. In the same vein, a woman might be shocked at how gruff her husband sounds when opening the door to a stranger. We have different voices for different scenarios. According to vocal perception expert Nadine Levan, these changes can be conscious or subconscious. The husband sounding tougher when opening the door could be a subconscious way of asserting dominance and protecting his house. A conscious change of voice can be when we talk slower to make a point. 4. Food tastes better when someone else makes it Have you ever wondered why your cooking never tastes as good as when others make it? Even when you both use the same ingredients. And no, it's not because you have poor culinary skills. Psychologists say that when you make your own dishes, you anticipate its taste as you're working on it. And when you think of a particular food for a while, you become less hungry for it. This is also worsened by the fact that you spend so long making it that you're simply exhausted. So it's not the food that's the problem, it's you losing the excitement for it. 5. The more difficult something is to obtain, the more you like it. As humans, we always want things, but we often want something more than others. Why do we chase after the things that are so difficult to get? That fancy car, an impossible level in a game, or a crush who doesn't give us the time of a day? It all boils down to the relationship between effort and reward. We see things that are easy to get are low-hanging fruits. Everyone else gets to them too. The greater the effort put into getting something, the greater the satisfaction of achieving it. 6. What our eyes see is not what our brain sees. Try reading this. According to research at Cambridge University, the order of letters in a word is not very important. What matters is that the first and last letter be in the right place. This is because your brain does not read every letter, but reads words and groups of words. What we see isn't always what is. As we interact with the world, our brains are constantly processing information. When our eyes see something, the message is sent to the brain for translation. Sometimes the brain modifies that information just so it makes sense to us. It fills in the blanks and adds the details when there is none. It's why you can read the sentence about even though it's so garbled. 7. Personal stories are more persuasive than scientific data. We tend to believe anecdotal evidence more easily, more quickly than fact-based information. The reason isn't far-fetched. Anecdotes are in stories of people. They will invoke empathy because we can relate to them. In a campaign against overspeeding, you are more likely to convince people with a story about a woman who was in a car accident than with a pie chart showing the number of car accidents. 
Stories invoke a more emotional reaction from us, and since we often make decisions based on emotions, we are more easily persuaded. 8. You can't help but be interested in things you don't need to know. We humans are curious by nature. From childhood, we've always had an extreme desire to know things. It is a survival trait that helps us obtain food, protects us from danger, and helps us find reproductive partners. A lot of time, however, we become curious about the most mundane things, things that have no survival benefits whatsoever. What color do dogs see? How much is the earth worth? Can you fire a gun in space? The reason for our curiosity is neoteny, which means retention of juvenile characteristics as an adult. It makes sense for us to be very curious as children because it's how we learn about the world. But that trait persists in us throughout our adult lives. 9. We perceive time differently, depending on the situation. Do you remember that boring lecture? Do you remember that work meeting that went on for so long, it felt like it would never end? It was almost as if time was moving slower, right? Now, compare this to when you were at night out with friends or when you were playing your favorite video game. You look at the time and wonder where the hours went. The difference between the moments when the time feels slow and when it doesn't is simply whether or not you're paying attention to it. When we are doing something we enjoy, we are so engrossed in it, we forget about how much time has passed. But when we are doing something we did not want to do, the minutes and seconds are the only things we can think of. 10. You would rather receive bad news than be left with uncertainty. Do you know the sinking feeling you get when someone tells you, we need to talk, or I have to tell you something? If it's a romantic partner, you're already thinking they want to break up. If it's your employer, you're probably thinking they want to fire you. When you are left in uncertainty, our brain works over time trying to figure out what the answer could be, good or bad. More often than not, we stress over the bad possibilities, anticipating them as a means of coping. The longer it takes to know the truth, the more we just want to get a bad answer and be done with it. 11. Your most vivid memories are wrong What memory do you have that you can never forget? Maybe your wedding day or your first time traveling to a different country or a traumatic event in your childhood. We all have certain memories that are itched into our minds and seem like they happened yesterday whenever we recall them. However, those memories aren't very true. This doesn't mean that they never happened. It just means they have been full of errors. The first time we remember something called the flashbulb memory. It is picture perfect. We can recall exactly what happened, when it happened, and so forth. The next time we try to recall it, we are no longer remembering the event itself, but the previous one we painted from memory. This keeps happening the more times we recall that memory. It's like painting a painting over and over again. It will start to look a lot different from the original the more versions you create. This is why court testimonies are most accurate when given shortly after the incident. 12. You react to colors based on your culture. What comes to mind when you see the color red? What about blue or white or purple? Colors have different meanings all over the world. Some see red as the color of love and romance, while others see it as a sign of blood and danger. Some colors have similar meanings everywhere, but most colors have different meanings in different cultures. For example, in the West, white stands for purity and is used at weddings. But in some other cultures, white is a color used for death and funerals. 13. You can feel emotions without the proper facial expression. Our emotions are expressed with facial expressions. We smile when we are happy and frown when we are angry or upset. The way we contract our facial muscles helps portray our feelings. But scientists have discovered the facial muscles not only help portray how we feel inside, they also help us feel those emotions in the first place. According to a 2010 study carried out by Joshua Davis and his team from Bernard College, people struggle to fully express emotions when they aren't able to make facial expressions. You can try this yourself. Try to feel happy without moving your facial muscles. Chances are you're struggling to do so. This phenomenon is also why you can feel a particular emotion if you're making a facial expression of another emotion. For example, you might struggle to feel happy if you're frowning or to feel angry if you're making a confused face. <laughs> Amazing, right? 14. People take on traits that others thank them for having. Let's say you went to a restaurant and they were taking forever to bring your meal. You're frustrated, but all you can do is wait. Then finally, the waiter arrives with your meal. Rather than saying sorry for the delay, he says thank you for your patience. How do you think you would respond? 
chances are you would feel a lot better about yourself because you were complimented on positive behavior. Because of that, you might find yourself being more patient the next time you come around. Like most animals, we are easily conditioned to repeat a behavior, especially when given a form of gratification, be it a treat or a thank you. 15. We seek information that agrees with our pre-established beliefs. Confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, interpret, favor, and recall information in a way that confirms or supports one's prior beliefs or values. This is why people with certain political views tend to only listen to channels and news outlets that confirm those views. It is also why a woman who has a negative mindset always towards men will often ignore the instances when men have done good and only remember the times when they did wrong, which then strengthens her initial belief. 16. You cannot multitask Women can multitask is a saying we hear quite often, but the reality is neither men nor women can multitask. Multitasking is the ability to simultaneously carry out multiple tasks at a time. Humans are incapable of this. Research has shown that people can only attend to one task at a time. You can only think of one thing at a time. You can only conduct one physical or mental activity at a time. You can talk and listen at the same time. Likewise, you can read and talk at the same time. There is always a delay in between. We are pretty good at switching back and forth between two tasks, and so we think that is multitasking. But really, it is not. 17. There are only seven universal emotions. There are only seven emotions that are found everywhere across the globe, and they can be recognized by any human being. They are joy, sadness, anger, contempt, surprise, disgust, fear. The facial expressions accompanying these emotions appear to be universal, but the gestures don't. For example, most people nod to show agreement and shake their head to show disagreement, but the opposite is the case in places like Bulgaria. 18. Your personality changes when you switch languages. A Czech proverb says, Learn a new language and get a new soul. People who are biculture and bilingual have been noticed to have a shift in personality when switching from one language to another. This is because language is an intrinsic part of a culture, and culture has a lot of peculiarities. By switching from one language to another, we take on the culture of that language, usually the part shown in dialogue. Examples of this may be using more hand gestures when speaking Italian, doing the Bulgarian nod when speaking Bulgarian, becoming louder and more emotional when speaking Spanish, becoming more polite and agreeable when speaking Japanese. 19. You cannot resist paying attention to food, sex, and danger. Have you ever noticed that you walk slower when watching people argue on the sidewalk? Or that you always notice food wherever you are? We always notice three things in our environment. Food, sex, and danger. These three things are connected to our survival, and we can't help but pay attention to them when they are around. We notice food because we need to eat to survive. We notice danger so we can avoid it. We notice sex, the opposite sex, or the act of sex itself because we have an innate desire to procreate and keep our species alive. It is hardwired into us by evolution, and it doesn't seem like it would go away anytime soon. 20. You cannot picture what you have never seen before. Picture a camel's egg, or the core of the sun, or the other side of a black hole. Chances are you probably pictured a random bird's egg and a giant fireball respectively. No matter how hard you try, you can't imagine what you haven't seen before. As humans, we simply cannot know what we don't know. This truth applies to dreams as well. You can experience something in a dream that you have never read, seen, heard, or done before in real life. If you watched this video to this point, you're amazing. Thank you for leaving every other thing and watching this video. We still have more if you just check out the recommended video section.